I just recreated an After Effects style animation inside CapCut. ChatGPT generated the numbers and I designed the animation. That separation matters because bad editors copy steps and great editors copy decisions and editing techniques and apply them immediately. That's what we are doing here. Let's get to work. As you know, every single animation starts with a solid, nice background. So we're going to create a background right now. I'm going to stretch this up for seven seconds and I'm just going to delete the text. And like I said, like you got to remove the text in order to enter the space. And I had a comment again under the last video, but just I want to make sure everybody get the point. Just make sure you enter space and then you max the font size. That way you can start applying this background function down here in the bottom. And I'm going to create some like darker background because I'm going to add some particles later on anyway. So this is my base probably. I'm going to create a compound clip. I just duplicate this layer and I'm going to pick our second color, something like grayish. Yeah, that looks that looks better. Now I'm just going to match this to colors together by using a mask and I'm going to use the circle mask and I'm just going to play with the feather. I mean, that looks good to me. And now I'm just going to start adding more because I want to have a premium content. So I'm just going to use this asset of nature. I'm just going to remove the background with the chroma key. And I'm also going to change the color from this pinkish to something else. So let's see what we got in here. I might just change it to something white, something like this probably. That, yeah, that looks better. And I want to spice it up a bit more. So I'm going to add these particles on the timeline. I'm just going to cut it off here because I'm not going to need this. And I'm just going to play with the blend mode just so I have this nice textured background. And I mean, this looks good already to me. So I'm just going to select all these layers and create a compound clip. So we got the background and let's start creating the shape. If you didn't know, Kafka recently adding a shapes in the stickers if you can't see the shapes in the stickers it might be because your location so try to use vpn and get into united states or uk but we're going to build entire animation with the default text layer so don't worry about that and i'm just going to add a default text layer i'm going to stretch it up and i'm going to remove the text and i see a lot of comments claiming that you can't max the font size and it's because you didn't enter the space so make sure you enter the space and you see how this increased boom and now you can max the font size so i'm just going to select my base color which i'm going to be using something light gray i got the code here but don't try to copy exactly the same code just be creative and use something like this once you got the first color your base color just create a compound clip and now start creating the shape by using a rectangle and i'm just going to shape it up like this don't worry about rounding the corners because we're going to do that later on so now i'm just going to duplicate this layer and i'm going to change the color to something darker again i got the code here so if you want to copy this code but again like try to pick your own color just so you are creative because you're gonna need different colors later on now we're gonna have to get rid of this bottom part and because you already used one mask i just gotta create another compound and i'm gonna select split mask and i just position it somewhere like this and i'm just gonna duplicate this bottom layer the light gray and i'm gonna create compound again and i'm gonna select split and i just rotate it like this that way i can tr create like a three windows i'm gonna zoom this in a little bit just so i can see a better i'm gonna create one window here and two windows here so i'm gonna create a lines now just so i can start breaking these down into three windows so again i just added a default text layer and i max the font size i'm gonna pick some light grayish color for the lines i'm gonna go with something grayish something like this and i'm just gonna create a compound and i just start playing with the mask and i'm gonna shape it just so i have a small thin line and i'm going to bring it up here just so i can create a separation between these two windows so i just position it like this what really matter here is that it ends where this line where this new shape starts showing up don't really worry about having it go off the edge here because we're going to cut it cut it off anyway so you can calmly leave it as it is i'm just going to decrease the thickness and i just like to put it on size number two yeah that looks way better and I might just bring it down a little bit, just like this. Boom. So I got the first line ready. I'm just going to duplicate this layer. And I take it to the left. Yeah, you might not be able to take it to the left, but I'm going to just take it to the left like this. And I just decrease the thickness again. And just so I have it all lined up in the same level, I'm just going to go to first line. And I'm going to check the position on the Ys. And as you can see on the Ys, almost nearly the same. It's 323 and this one is 324. So I'm just going to decrease the number to 323. And I'm just going to make the size too. So everything stays the same. And I just bring it more to the left so if you are not able to grab it by mouse just use the arrows up and down and i'm going to zoom this a little bit more so i can see and have it exactly on this line and i'm just going to bring it 
back a little bit like that. Okay, now let's just start adding like more lines in the middle just so we can create a graph. And I'm just going to rotate it like this and I just bring it down somewhere in the middle. Also, like I said earlier, like you want to have built everything in the middle. That way everything is like nice and centered. So I'm going to duplicate this line. And again, I bring it down like this and I'm going to duplicate it one more time and I'm going to bring it down like this. And if you want to have this gap between all these lines the same. So basically you center this line in the middle. That means the position on Y is on zero. So you're just going to go to your second line and you're going to go on minus 100. And if you go on your third line, you're going to enter basically minus 200. And that way you have everything on the same level. And I'm going to enter one more line, but I'm going to change the color to blue. But I'm just going to change the position to minus 300 just so it's like nice and same you can even select all these four lines and just bring it higher if you like but i'm just going to keep it as it is i'm just going to double click and i just change the color to some nice blue color so i'm just going to use this this one looks fine to me and just so i can make this line a bit different i'm just going to add a mask and i just change the size from two to three let's see how it looks i mean that looks way better so that's fine and now I can finally start adding the numbers. I'm going to be typing views, watch time and subscribers. So I just add some text on and I'm going to select my font and I'm going to play with the font and I'm going to play with the color. So I'm just going to type in the views. And for this one, I'm going to use the SF Pro Display Bolt and I'm going to put the characters on minus one just so everything is like closer to each other. And I just pick my first color. I'm going to go with something grayish like this and I just position it somewhere here and just so again I have everything on the same level I'm gonna use this amazing feature which CapCut has these are the horizontal guides so I'm just gonna set the horizontal guide and then I'm simply gonna just take the text and put it exactly on the line and I'm gonna also lock the line just so it don't move once I accidentally click on the line so I'm just gonna duplicate this layer with the text layer and I'm just gonna change this to watch time and I'm gonna put in hours but I'm going to make this a bit smaller. I'm just going to bring the font size to 11 and I'm going to do the same thing with the watch time and hours as well. And now I just duplicate this one more time and I'm going to bring it up here and I just type in a subscribers. Awesome. Let's see how it looks. That's fire. So now what we got to do now is to animate this bottom line and we also got to create a graph coming up. So now, well, if you didn't get the VPN yet, so now is the time to get the VPN. If you don't see the shapes here in this sticker option, I'm going to use this pen tool to draw a graph coming from left to right so i'm just going to click exactly on the line and i'm just going to start creating the line don't worry about the thickness because we're going to adjust that later on but be creative you don't have to click exactly where i do but like be creative on creating this nice graph right maybe i messed up this part a little bit so i'm just going to go back and i just start creating the shape from the scratch and once you have created perfect line perfect shape you can like go to color but you're gonna need the blue code color so i'm just gonna double click this layer really quickly just so i can copy the code and i'm just gonna change the color to whatever we have on the first line and i'm gonna change the weight to number three and i'm just gonna move it more to the left just so it's in the middle that's awesome and i might just increase the size of this bottom line as well a little bit more so i'm gonna go to video mask and i just put it on size number four Let's do like five. Let's see how that looks. Like again, like that's exactly why I say like don't try to copy every single step. Be creative because that's what really matters in video editing. And I'm not going to need this line anymore. So you can like remove the line. Now we're going to just need some numbers. So I'm going to head to ChatGPT and I'm going to put this link down in the description. Let me just explain you how this works really quickly. All the matters is here that you're going to have to change the number. Your starting number, which is zero, and your ending number, which is 486. And you're going to do that for each number you're going to be generating. And then you simply download the SRT link and you're going to insert that into ChatGPT. And it's going to look exactly like this. You get like a bunch of numbers like this on the timeline. So I'm just going to select all these layers and I just select the exactly same font as we used. And I'm just going to bring it up here under the views. And I'm going to keep the color white. And now if you play it, you see how this slowly increase so i'm just going to put it at the beginning of the timeline i'm going to stretch the last number and i'm going to duplicate this layer bring it at the beginning and i'm going to type m symbolizing i'm going to be doing like 486 millions right so i just put it right behind this so and now you see how this goes like not really well so i'm just going to select all these text layer create a compound clip and i just go to speed and i put it on speed 5 and let's see how that goes and you see the number 
starts to increase way smoother. That's the process we're going to be doing for all the watch time hours and the subscribers. I'm just going to stretch this a little bit more just so I can use the number and have it all the way up like this. And I'm just going to do the same process with watch time and subscribers. So now when I got all the numbers, I'm going to start animating the lines. I'm just going to scroll down to my blue line and I'm going to animate that first. And because I already applied one mask, I just got to create another compound clip and add a split mask and rotate it like this. And I'm going to bring it to the left and I just activate a keyframe at the mask and I just bring that keyframe at the beginning. But before I do that, I set the feather on 15. So I just put it at the beginning and I go a couple of frames forward and I just drag it up like this. And now when you play it, you see how this line start increase but i'm going to smooth out this movement a bit more in the graph editor so and i'm going to apply auto curve on each of these keyframe and i'm going to play with the blue line just so we have like a unique movement and i'm going to close it and let's see how the line moves boom awesome and i'm also going to have to animate this other line which is the custom shape but before i can do that i gotta create a compound clip and now i'm going to add a split mask and it's the same process as we did now i'm going to go at the beginning of the clip i add a keyframe i set the feather on 15 put it at the beginning i go cup frames forward and just so these lines and at the same time this is my bottom line the blue line i'm going to click on this second keyframe and i click back on my rough and i'm going to drag this all the way up like this and that way when you play it it's almost at the same time but i want this graph to start showing up somewhere here so i'm just simply going to take this keyframe and drag it more to the front just so it starts like this boom awesome and i'm also going to speed up the graph a little bit more so i'm going to play with the keyframes and again i'm going to adjust the smoothness here in the variable speed animations and i'm going to apply auto curve on each of these keyframe and i can even play with the blue line just so i have it way smoother and let's see how that looks awesome i mean it starts a bit fast so i'm just going to bring this keyframe more to the left and i'm going to play it now that's perfect so I'm just going to keep it as it is. And right now I'm going to spice this up even a bit more. So first what I'm going to do, apply a gradient to our base. So I'm just going to duplicate this bottom layer, which is the base. And I'm just going to change the color to something more, either darker or lighter. This is up to you. I'm going to go with darker and I'm just going to go to video. I create one more compound clip and I'm going to apply a circle mask. And I just play with the feather. You see the difference like now versus now. That's a huge difference. But we got to put it behind all these layers. So I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to put it on layer number four. And I'm going to start playing with the shape. I can even like reverse this and have it to look like this. I mean, this looks way better. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. Another touch up I'm going to be doing with the lines. I'm going to be applying glow effect. But before I do that, you see how this cuts off when I apply the glow effect. And it's because you have this split line so i'm just going to create compound clip out of this layer and then i apply glow effect and that way i have a nice line with the glow without any cut off here and i'm going to apply glow effect also on this bottom line but that way but now i'm not just going to be doing another compound clip because i can adjust this here in the setting so now when you play it, you see this cut off a little bit so i'm just going to decrease the size and the glow and that way i don't see that cut off line here let me shape it up a little bit more just so we can get a, get rid of all these lines and put it in a nice shape i'm going to select all the layers except the background and i create a compound clip and i put a mask and i select rectangle mask and now you can select whatever size you like and i'm going to round the corners like this that's way too much so i'm going to round the corners and something around look i don't even look at this number right i just round the corners based on the feeling based on what i really need with this content you see i'm going to bring this down a little bit more and i'm going to round the corners a bit more as well and i just make it a less thicker and boom i have this shape and i'm going to show you a few more things how you can take this the way higher quality animation and i'm going to turn this into like a glass looking effects so i'm gonna go to our base color and i'm gonna turn off these particles and i'm just gonna take these white particles and put them back on the timeline but i'm gonna tweak the color a little bit to something more bluish so i'm just gonna go to curves and i take the red curve and i mean this looks fine already then i go back to video and i again i'm gonna start playing with the blend mode but now we gotta really put it on layer number two and we can start playing with the blend mode and we can start playing with this function and now when you decrease the opacity you have something like this but you might want to just have it as it is now but if you want to take it to the next level you can just start playing with the feather you can just start playing with the blend mode i'm gonna so i'm gonna put it on screen and i'm just gonna bring the opacity a little bit down just so it gives me this nice look and if the background is 
too bright for you so just go to your first layer and start playing with these two colors right maybe it's too light so i'm just gonna bring this to something more darker you see the difference already that's why i say it at the beginning like do not copy every single step but copy the techniques and the principles i'm showing here in this animation just so you can start recreating these animations on your own pace and in your own editing styles and now what is missing is to add some movement you can either use these animations but i'm going to animate the movement by myself using keyframes so i just set my final size which is this and i go at the beginning and i set the scale on one that way when i play it it makes this movement and i'm also gonna go a couple frames forward and i just bring the scale down to 92 something like that and i'm just gonna play with the keyframes again i'm applying auto curve on each of these keyframe and i can take this keyframe and bring it to the end and i'm gonna play with these blue lines so i'm gonna bring this to the front and i take this one and i can create these bouncy movement like this and just like that by doing this small tweak down here in this setting you created this unique animation and if you want to keep creating animations exactly like in after effects but in CapCut, this video is what is it all about